welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem from chapter 3 vector mechanics for engineers by Perrin johnston the problem says that a winch puller ab is used to straighten a fence post knowing that the tension in cable bc is 1040 newton and length d is 190 meters determine the moment about d of the force exerted by the cable at c by resolving that force into horizontal and vertical components applied at point c and e so in the problem statement it is said that the tension in this cable bc due to this wench is 1040 newton and we are required to find the moment of that 1040 newton force about this point d when this d is equal to 1.90 meters so first of all let's draw the free body diagram so this line will represent uh, that bc cable or rope and this will represent this uh, fence and so this will be our free body diagram like this so this is that point c this is point D about which we want to find the moment and this is point E. Now the distance between point E and D is given. Let's say this is um, this is D in the problem statement to say that this is 1.90 meters and the distance between point C and D the horizontal distance between point C and D is 0.2. So we can say that this distance is 0 0.2. So we can say that this small distance is 0 0.2 meters. And uh, the vertical distance between point C and D, this distance is 0 0.875 meters. Now the problem uh, says that find the moment about this point D of the given force which is acting along this BC cable by resolving that force at point C and E. So the force is acting like this, right? So, so we have to find the moment uh, about point D uh, considering the force acting at C and then considering the force acting at E. So first of all, I'm going to consider the force at C. So we will have the force acting at C and this force is equal to 1040 newton so in order to resolve this force um, we need to have the angle of this force um, with the horizontal right since this force is acting like this uh, so it is making some angle with the horizontal so we need to find this angle theta let's say let's say that this angle is theta so we can find this angle theta if we use this uh, triangle like this. This will be a right angle triangle. We can use this right angle triangle to find the angle of this force f with the horizontal. So now if we use that triangle, so that triangle will be till this point, right? So this, this and this. So we can say that theta, we can find uh, that theta by applying tan theta, right? So we can say that tan theta to this triangle will be equal to the perpendicular so this is the perpendicular which is this 0 0.875 divided by the base so the base will be this length so this length is d which is 1.90 plus 0 0.2 so we can say 1.90 plus 0 0.2 so we can say 1.90 plus 0 0.2 this is 2.1 so we can say 0 0.875 divided by 2.1 and we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse of that ratio which is 0 0.875 divided by 2.1 so we can say that 0 0.875 divided by 2.1 this gives us 22.62 so theta is equal to 22. 62 degrees now that tension in the rope 
is the tension in that cable BC is making angle theta 22.62 degrees with the horizontal. So now we can resolve this force. We can have, we will have one of its component like this and we will have one of its component like this. So let's say that this force is equal to 1040 Newton and we will have one of its components in the horizontal direction like this and we will have one component in the vertical direction like this so this one is the this one is the horizontal component we can say this is the x component if this is our positive x and y direction let's see this is my positive x and y so this is fx and this vertical component is fy now if this is angle theta then this is angle theta both of these angles are alternate angles so we can say this is angle theta as well so now the angle is made with f of x then f of x is the cos component so we can say that f of x is 1040 cos of theta theta is 22.62 and similarly if this is the cos component then this one is the sine component f of y is the sine component so we can say that f of y is 1040 sine of 22.62 degrees so now we have resolved this uh, force in the cable at point c so we are going to have the solution for this part so we have resolved the force at point c so we can say that the solution to part a will be equal to the moment about point d will be equal to now we can say that this component this fx component is going to produce the moment about that point d in the counterclockwise direction and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point d is this distance or we can say that the moment arm of this component from that point d is 0 0.875 so we can say that f of x is producing the counterclockwise moment and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so we can say that f of x is producing the positive moment so we will write plus f of x so f of x is 1040 cos of 22.62 multiplied by the perpendicular distance or the moment arm is this so we can say this is 0 0.875 meters and this vertical component is producing the clockwise moment about that point d like this so f of y is producing the negative moment so we will write minus f of y is 1040 sine of 22.62 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from that point d is this distance 0 0.2 or we can say that the moment arm of f of y from that point d is 0 0.2 meters so we will multiply this with 0 0.2 so this is 0 0.2 so this is equal to we can say that 1040 cos of 22.62 multiply by 0 0.875 this gives us plus 839.999 is approximately 840 minus 1040 sine of 22.62 multiply by 0 0.2 this gives us 80 so 840 minus 80 this gives us 760 so the moment about point d due to uh, uh, due to that uh, 1040 newton force along that bc cable is 760 newton meter and we got the positive sign right so this means that that uh, tension in the rope of magnitude 1040 newton force is producing the counterclockwise moment about point d of magnitude 760 newton meter so this is the counterclockwise moment of magnitude 760 newton meter now for part b of the problem solution we are going to consider this force at point e so now i will move this force to point e now this we are considering that this force is acting at point e so again we will have that f of x component here and we will have that f of y component here we will have that f of y component here and since as we can see that the orientation of the force remains the same it is uh, acting along that same cable which is making that same angle theta of 22.62 degrees so we can say that this is that force f which is again making that same angle theta with the horizontal 
so we can say that this is the same angle theta this is the same force of magnitude 1040 newton and this is that same f of x and this is that same f of y so now when the force is when the tension in the cable is considered at point e so we have to find the moment about point d so the moment about point d we can say for part b the moment about point b is equal to and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now as we can see that this f of x is passing through that point d so its moment arm from that point d is zero so we can say that f of x which is 1040 cause of 22.62 degrees and its moment arm from that point d is zero or we can say that the perpendicular distance of this f of x from that point d is zero similarly this f of y is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point d so we will write that plus we will say plus f of y is 1040 sine of 22.62 degrees and its perpendicular distance from that point d is this distance which is 1.90 so we will multiply this with 1.90 so this is equal to 0 and this is 1040 sine of 22.62 multiplied by 1.90 so this gives us that same moment of 760 newton meter so 0 plus 760 is plus 760 newton meter and again we got the plus sign so this means that the moment about point d is in the counterclockwise moment and it has a magnitude of 760 newton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron john